Hey guys, Faisal here with Nexus 7 Soft Modder, and today I'm going to show you a really easy way to be able to download uh, pictures and videos from your Instagram feed uh, directly to your device. Um, and it's it's a really simple way to do it without having to you know take a screenshot and then maybe later cropping that picture out. So uh, a couple things you'll need to do is you'll need to be rooted and you'll need to have exposed framework installed. Go ahead and check out the article. I've got links on how to do both of those things. They're both really easy. Um, so once you have that done, simply just go to your app drawer and you're going to go to expose installer. And if you haven't done so already, um, you know, go to framework and make sure that you're on the latest versions. If you're not, just hit install update. It'll download uh, everything by itself. And then once you've done that, um, make sure you reboot your device before continuing on with the next bit. Uh, but I'm on the latest version, so I'm going to go back to the main menu and I'm going to go to download. And all the uh, various exposed modules are all listed here. I'm going to go for the one that's called Instagram Downloader. Hit that. It's by a developer named Muhammad AG. And simply just hit the download button. Uh, it's a small app, um, so it'll download right away and it'll install like any normal app. Um, and then once that's done, you're going to see here in your notification say, uh, shade, it says Exposed Module Not Activated Yet. You can click on that or just uh, go back to the main menu and um, go to Modules. And then just make sure that you have it checked off next to Instagram Downloader. And once you see that, you'll see a message that you need to reboot. So you can you know hold the power button down and reboot, or I'll just go to Framework, just tap Reboot, hit OK. Now after the device is uh, done rebooting, you're not going to see anything in your app drawer. This is not like a normal application. There's no user interface. Um, there's no standalone app. Um, so basically once you've got that checked off in the exposed installer and you've rebooted, uh, it's active and it's ready to go. So all you really need to do is just head to Instagram and you're going to see uh, a few different options that the normal app doesn't have. Uh, I'm going to show you that right now. So, um, you know, fire up Instagram and, oops, let's see, go to Instagram and, um, I'm going to have to flip this over, it doesn't do landscape yet. Um, and then, so once you see something you want to download, um, let's just do this, you're going to hit this three dot button and you're going to see an option for download here. Now normally uh, you only have report inappropriate um, you know depending on who took the picture or whether someone's tagged you may see some other options but download is never there so just tap download and it'll download the picture um, pretty much like it's doing something you know like a download from uh, a web browser or something. So now it's here um, you can click on that and there's the picture in the gallery or um, what you could do is when you go to gallery, um, this uh, module, what it does is it creates a folder called Instagram and everything will be saved in that folder including any pictures or videos. And there you go. Pretty easy. Um, let me know if you guys are having any issues with the module or getting anything set up. Um, but other than that, you know, enjoy downloading from Inst Instagram. If you guys have any questions, um, you know, comment below. Make sure you like our channel and uh, or subscribe to our channel and like this video. And I'll see you guys next time. Thanks. Bye.